shampoo and the conditioner that goes with it has been so incredible. Plus it's probably the best smelling shampoo I've ever put in my hair. It's unreal. I'll link it down below, but oh my goodness, life changing. Okay, morning skincare. As you can see, I have a couple little reaction dots from the micro needling I got last week. My face, however, is thriving. Like, it really like clears up any pigmentation, um, you know, texture, anything like that. And like, my face feels so soft. But my neck, because I hadn't gotten it done on my neck before, it didn't love it as much. But it's a lot better than what it was, and it's just in the, you know, going down phase. So if you're wondering what that is, that's what it was. I'm gonna start off the toner. This is Espa. Balancing Herbal Spa Fresh Toner. I've gone through like the smaller version of this, and now this is like the mega size, and I'm more than halfway done. So it's just like a, a nice neutral pH balancing toner. Then I go in with this Huda Beauty, oh, Wishful, that's her skincare brand, Wishful Thirst Trap HA3 and Peptide Serum. I feel like it just, you know, helps moisturize your skin and makes your other things go in a little bit deeper into the skin. Always the back of the hands too, people. There's signs of aging, back of your hands. Then I go in with my Environ AVST Moisturizer. This is the level three out of five, and we're done. Need to get number four. And then lastly, some moisturizer with a little bit of SPF. This is the Skinition Advanced Time Delay Day Cream. This is the second tube of this. I love this skincare brand. Here in Northern Ireland, we actually have to take vitamin D supplements because there is a lack of. So the SPF 30 in this and my makeup that I put on top is good because I'm literally staying inside all day basically anyways. But I will show you my SPF if I was having like a beach day or you know outside for more of it. It's the Skin Ingredients Broad Spectrum Light Protection SPF 50. PA++++, whatever that means, but this one's amazing. And if you're scared of breaking out, don't be. This one is so good and I've tried so many. I do want to also mention my face tan. I put it on last night. That's why I like a little bit of a glow. It's the Hishi Overnight Hyaluronic Tan Balm. Again, this is like third tube. I bought one for my mom because she liked it as well too. It's so good. It's like skincare and tanning in one. Obviously, it doesn't break you out. It's one of my favorite face tanners. I've mentioned it in videos before. So this is my morning skincare routine. Let's go get a coffee. Also quick shout out to this robe. It's from NYX. I also have it in charcoal, which has featured in many a video, but they came out with this color and I'm obsessed. Absolutely love it. It's like a pinky peach shade, which is so cute for spring summer. And then my favorite slippers Patty got me for Christmas from a small business called Mamu. Again, we'll link them down below, but they have so many different fun, fluffy options. This is a Hay Harper necklace and I just double wrapped it as a cute little anklet, although they do sell anklets on their site, but I thought that was really cute. All right, it's makeup time. I have no idea why, but it is eight o'clock on the dot and both babies are still sleeping. Olive normally sleeps until about 8.30, sometimes even nine, don't know why. Oscar normally is up around 7.15, but we heard him chatting last night, so maybe he didn't fall asleep until later, so I must be tired, but I'm gonna take my current favorite everyday BB cream light base. It's a mix of these two NARS tinted moisturizer in Mykonos in Norwich. It's just so good. Taking my Bare Minerals Concealer in Fair 1W and I'm just going to put a little bit in the inner corner. It's literally Monday. I'm not going crazy with makeup so this is like my quick, you know, weekly everyday vibe. I just love base products. That's something that can never like skimp on. Also, this concealer is so pigmented. It's really like light in consistency, but it's really pigmented. So anywhere I need a little bit of extra coverage, I'll just go over with whatever I have left over on the brush from like under my eyes, like literally those two dots. And it's like the perfect amount of extra coverage on 
other areas. Taking my Pound Cake Huda Beauty setting powder and I'm just gonna put that right under my eyes so that it doesn't crease. I also have banana bread for like the rest of my face but Pound Cake for under my eyes is perfect. I think I'm actually gonna put Pound Cake everywhere else only because I don't want to do a cream bronzer today. I'm wanting to do powder so I'm just gonna quickly set areas so that it doesn't move my makeup underneath. Moving on to bronzer, don't even need to introduce it, but if you don't already know, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Oh, I love it. If you're not a scent person, you're going to really not like it because it is literally a summer scent in a bronzer. Like, <sighs> makes me want to go on vacation ASAP. Also, this brush is like some random, oh, an elf brush, blush brush. Super cheap, but it does the job. All right, I quickly did my blush, and that's all I can say. Moving on to brow gel, we have Bare Minerals Chestnut Strength and Length Serum Gel. Love this stuff, just warms up my brows. Gives a little bit more fullness, but it does the job, especially if you have microblading. It's the perfect amount of coverage. I took your guys' recommendation, and I got the Tweezerman eyelash curler oh my goodness it is so good just watch this obviously you guys know i swear by uk lash serum been using it for seven eight months now and obviously mascara i'm picky with but i have a video of my favorites down below but look at that curl it is unreal mascara lancome lash idol i'm basically done this too i need to repurchase another one but i've been loving it as you already know honestly when you find a good lash serum stick with it you'll never want lash extensions again and i hardly wear false lashes as well just ignore the mascara on my nose gotta let that dry lips has been a mix of a couple of things i'm just gonna do lip liner now because i'm drinking coffee and i don't want lipstick everywhere it's a mix between the two huda beauty lip liners in pinky brown and terracotta i actually put pinky brown on first also there's definitely a retractable end i tried to sharpen it and ruined it so don't make that mistake this one's like your lip color but better so i put it all over then i go in with terracotta which is a little bit more of like a brownie nude and get the outer corners for some definition. I'm into that. Ooh, last, I also took your other recommendation on a cream highlighter, which was Hush. So you know how I love Shell. You guys told me that I would love Hush, and you're so right, I totally love it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on top. It's a little bit more of like a goldy skin tone where Shell has a little bit more of a pinky tone to it. Oh, it's so pretty. This is like my dream highlighter, look at that. And to finish it off, I'm going to take my Iconic Bronze, or Iconic London, sorry, Prep, Set, and Glow in the bronze shade. Do a quick little set -a And then to set the center of my face where my pores are, I'm going to take this Benefit, it's the Pore Professional Super Setter. It's really fine mist, but I just concentrate it in the center of my face. And I have 15 minutes on the clock, so you can totally do this in 10 if you're not talking. Super easy, minimal, glowy, everyday makeup. Where's my gorgy boy? Hi! Hi! How'd you sleep? Did you sleep so well? Yeah? <laughs> Hello. Hello, handsome. <laughs> Okay, I'm back because I thought I would show you what I put in my hair and then I always let it like air dry a little bit as well. So, starting off with this bad boy, it is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Multi Action Leave In Spray Lotion stuff. So, I just put a generous amount of this in my hair and then I put a little bit of my Olaplex Number no. 6 Bomb Smoother, literally like a pea size amount and then lastly i use this care stoss it is a youth for vitalizing blow dry care which we're not blow drying our hair right now i only do one pump of it by the way but i like to let my hair air dry about you know 75 80 percent and then i go in with the blow dry and that is all in my hair and then i'm going to take a brush and that is me for a bit i'm going to let it air dry and then we'll come back when i need to give it like a little final blitz of a blow dryer so then we can style it okay my hair is like 60% dry but I thought I would show you um 
how I air wrap my hair. I do have a dedicated video, so I can always link that down below. But I'm gonna take the blow dryer attachment, just quickly tousle it so that my roots are a little bit drier. Um, and then we're gonna go on to the actual like little barrel air wrap. Take that off and I'm gonna put on this attachment. I have been following this girl, Lydia Tomlinson. She's more so a fashion blogger or, you know, Instagrammer, YouTuber. So she put up a little tutorial on how she uses her air wrap and it's totally not how I would use it, but I wanna try it anyways. She literally just uses one of the attachments and does it all the way around, mostly at the bottom section of the hair. So there's one side of her hair that goes out and the other side that goes in, but it just looked a lot more natural and I don't know, like effortless. I'm gonna start with the bottom section of my hair. Always, always, always spray with my George Northwood wave holding spray. So I'm just gonna put that on the ends. I literally want a perfume in that smell. Like, it's my favorite smell, it's so good. I'm gonna be going away from my face on the left side of my head. So let's just go. just three sections of hair curled so it's nice and like full at the bottom I wanted to blow dry my hair at the roots a little bit more because I was focusing this heat more on the bottom section so that's why you know blow dried my roots a little bit more now we're gonna go on to this section but it's going towards our face nice and bouncy and wavy so as you can see this side is obviously going towards my face this side is going away from my face but it's just like a little bit more what's my word I don't know not perfect so let's keep on going at Nana's <laughs> just in case you were wondering Patty's dropped them off and I tend to get a little bit more more ready on days that they're with their Nana and on days I don't have them it's normally a ponytail a messy bun or a lot of dry shampoo all right while we're here and the hair is going to be dying down a little bit my two lipsticks of choice are Sweet Cheeks from Huda Beauty. It's my lip color, but a little bit darker. And then Empress on top, which is like the most beautiful nude. I'm not normally a nude girl, like to this degree, but I've been loving this lipstick and mixing the two. I feel like I get my perfect color. So that's what I've been wearing for like the last two weeks constantly and I always get asked. So it's those two lip liners and those two lipsticks mixed. So it's literally four products, which is incredibly unnecessary but it lasts pretty well and I just love the look of it so let's get dressed a couple weeks ago I was sent these little handbags from Teddy Blake and this one is the most beautiful like powdery sky blue and then this one's like a really pretty prominent dark vibrant green and I just love the size of these. And you have two small kids and you need a diaper bag, but then you want just a tiny bag for like your phone, your wallet, and like lipstick. These are perfect and they're just so beautifully soft. I tend to wear the blue one a little bit more, but maybe I should rock the green today. Okay, this is kind of what I've pulled together. These like waxed denim pants from New Look are literally the nicest fit ever. They're like super high-waisted with two buttons and a zip but they have like a wax feel to it. So they're like secure and like feel so nice. And then I'm obsessed with these sandals from H&M. I have the flat version that I wear all the time as well too. But this one has just a tiny little heel for some added length if you have shorter legs like myself. And then this little jacket, I think it looks so much more expensive than it is. Like it's from New Look and I think it was like under 20 pounds, but it's like a little cargo oversized jacket, which I love. And then I have a cos 
um, or COS, how would you pronounce it? COS, COS. <laughs> Um, white tea. I have it in black as well. It's my favorite just plain teas. I think they wash really well. Super cute. I feel like this would look really cute with like blue jeans as well, but this is the look. Also, I'm completely forgetting jewelry. This is the best. Get ready with me, isn't it? <laughs> um, let's start off with this hand. This little, like, this is a moment. This is such a fun ring. It is a brand from down south in Ireland. I will link it down below, but it's so beautiful, gold coated, and these are, I think, Ooh, moissanites? Maybe not. And then obviously Hay Harper, which is my waterproof jewelry. I literally never take this ring off. Like, I'm obsessed with it. This one over here is also Hay Harper, which never comes off. And then normally on, like, if I'm going out on this middle finger, I'll wear one of these other Hay Harper ones. So this one's, like, a little bit more of a moment. And then this one's, like, a double one. Love these as well, but I think I'm just going to keep it clean today because this one definitely does a lot of the talking. And then the ones that definitely never come off are my Ivy and Gold bracelets, which is a local small business here in Northern Ireland. I have all of an Oscar's name, and then I just purchased the bigger bead one that she came out with. And then these two are Hay Harper um, Gold and Silver, and they're just, I think they complement my little you know, selection of bracelets that are going on at the moment. I just like how like clean it looks. It's not too crowded. Um, it's still classic with just sticking with gold, silver, and then a little pop of black. And on this side, I get so many questions about this. This is a Fitbit watch. It's the Fitbit 4. Patty got it for me for Christmas, I believe. And then I just ordered this band because I didn't like the black one it came with. And I feel like the rubber bands they come with are like, you know, when you're working out or sweaty, it like smells like like that gross skin smell <laughs> so this is just like a metal gold band from fit straps uk so i'll link that down below as well and then this ring is so beautiful it's probably my newest one to the bunch it's from natasha dean they contacted me and it they like custom make to order um all their jewelry and it's just so beautiful it's like a little twist with diamonds and gold this one is blue boho in toronto uh, I really rarely take it off as well and then obviously my wedding and engagement ring that is the situation at the moment and then for earrings I'm just gonna stick to my usual lineup which is the Hay Harper Huggies I have the medium size and the small size so just pop them together and they're really cute <coughs> excuse me that is my earring lineup very simple. Body is now home from dropping off the kids. Love gold. Obviously, I'm trying to implement a little bit of silver, but gold is my go-to. Thought I would show you what I'm making for brunch, and I've been loving for having for brunch. I normally start my meals around 11 just after getting myself ready, the kids ready, doing a couple things of work. I've never been a breakfast person, so normally start my meals around 11. Um, we are going to have pesto eggs with sourdough toast. So I have four eggs because I'm making for Patty as well too. Four eggs, I'm just gonna scramble it. Then we're gonna start with some pesto in the pan because that's gonna be like our oil base and we're just gonna make the eggs with the pesto. It's life changing.
after brunch, I always take my JS Health Skin and Digestion Pills. This is my third bottle. I just have a monthly subscription because it has been life-changing for my hormonal breakouts. Skin is your largest organ and treating it from the inside out has really helped my face um, in particular. So along with my skincare and little facial visits from Nora, these have been life-changing. I'll link them down below, but I've raved about them before. Love them. All right, see how my hair has like settled down a lot more? I actually really like the two different curl ways. I feel like it just looks a little bit more natural and everyday. Um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hopefully you enjoyed my little morning, midday, get ready, slash spend a little bit of the day with me. I have some errands to run, and then I'm gonna edit this video so it can go live for you. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. All links will be down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing with this hand. Bye. <laughs>